y'all, it's Candace Denise, and I'm back again with another video. Another video. First and foremost, I tried some flexi rods last night, and it ain't working. But we're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. And also, I got my eyebrows microbladed, so. That's why they're dark. I'll do a video to update you guys on the process, how it went, and what it's going to look like after the healing process. Anywho, it's New Year's Eve, guys. <laughs> I wrote everything down so I could stay on task because I tend to start here and end up there. Not left field, but right field. You know, so I know a lot of people are you know doing their new year's resolutions that's what they're working on right now but i feel like new year's resolutions are so past that because who really sticks to them not me and then a lot of times we say oh in the new year it's gonna be different new year new me but we don't change the things that we do or the behaviors that we exhibit so nothing really changes and to be honest, you really don't need a new year to make a change. The change starts within yourself any day. Because every day that you get to wake up is a brand new fresh start. It's another chance for you to get it right. You don't have to really wait for a new year. But you should have goals in place that you want to reach. Whether it's a new year or just in general. Goals are extremely important. But we'll talk about that. So some stuff that we need to stop doing in 2020 um stop trying to please everybody live for you and your life do what makes you happy we're letting time pass us by because we're so worried about what other people think forget what other people think do you and do what makes you happy if taking trips makes you happy if posting your significant other on facebook makes you happy um if celebrating your successes makes you happy whatever makes you happy do it and don't let anybody make you feel less than who you are because you do certain things. Live for yourself and be happy. I mean, as long as it's legal and it's not doing harm to yourself or others. But other than that, do what makes you happy. If people show you who they are, believe them. Take it for face value, especially when people get mad. When people get mad, that shows you who they really are. But that shows you real, true emotion. So, believe everything. Believe half of what you hear. And, what did they say? Believe half of what you hear and everything you see. Something like that. If somebody know what that saying is, please put it in the comments below. Um, Stop overthinking situations. Take everything for face value, as I said before, because... People will say one thing, but when it's time for actions, when it's time for that movement, it's something totally different. So stop overthinking everything and take everything for face value. And stop thinking you're not good enough. Like I know a lot of times we face rejection or even compare ourselves to other people in other situations. Like you may see people who are who have a family who got engaged in the holiday season or bought a new house, bought a car, took a trip around the world, and it's something that you wanted to do. So don't be jealous of someone else's happiness or someone else's good fortune. Just look at it like, I can do that too, or that could be me. This is what I need to do to get there. This is what I need to do to get there. So don't ever be discouraged about someone else's success, especially when it's in your circle around you. That just means that good fortune or that success or that love it's getting closer and closer to you because it's affecting the people that's around you. It's, it's, it's on the way. It's on the way, sis. Just be calm, be patient, be faithful, and know that God is going to work it out in your favor. That was a word. That was a word. So what I learned, the first thing I learned in 2019 is that not everything will go as planned. Like, in my mind, I'll come up with ideas or how I want relationships to go, how I want friendships to go, how I want people to support me, but it doesn't always happen that way. So you gotta be willing to be flexible and kind of go with the flow and go with the, the change, really, because change is, in, is inevitable. So you have to remember not everything will go as you plan or how you have it mapped out in your mind. Um, another thing I learned 
And I don't think it's necessarily in 2019, but I just came to the realization that you can't change people and not everyone has the same heart as you. Not everyone has the same heart as you. I have to say that again because like I have a really big heart and the love that I show, the support that I give, I don't always get it back in return. But I've learned to take things at face value. Take it for what it is. Everybody's not going to be like you. Everybody wasn't raised like you. Everybody doesn't have the same morals, values, characteristics, personality. Everybody doesn't have the same things that you have. So you have to accept people for who they are. And so you can't expect people to do different things. When people show you those things, cool, but you can't expect people to do it and expect them to have the same heart that you do. Real situations expose real people. It's a lot of times you'll go through some major stuff and you expect people to support you. You expect people to do certain things for you, but they don't. And you say, oh, well, I know what I would have done. And yeah, that's what you may have done, but you can't expect everyone to, to do the things that you would do or treat them the way that you would treat them or... Be there for them like you would want them to be there for you. So you got to start, stop putting expectations on people because you'll get let down every time. And so 2020 is all about, it's the year, for me, it's the year of manifestation. All my goals that I have set, they're realistic goals. They're attainable goals. They're things that are going to actually happen. And we'll get more into that. Um... Support those who support you. And so, my cousin, she told me this when I got started. The things that I expected from people or the support that I would expect from people, I'm not going to get it in return. And that was a very, very, very hard lesson. And it's crazy because you expect, again, you expect certain things from people, but you have to remove expectations from people. You have to take it at face value and learn to not expect certain things from different people and I know a lot of times people say oh I'm going into the new year with a new attitude my attitude started a long time ago like a lot of stuff used to bother me but now I'm just like Ray Charles to the BS like I'm not arguing it's like, okay and I'm moving forward like life is entirely too short to focus on things that don't make you better or don't add positivity into your life. You gotta protect your peace at all times. If something is disturbing your peace, if something's not sitting well with your soul, let that ish go, period. Gotta go. Because you got things to do, you got goals to hit. Let it go. I have my goals, that I, I'm not doing New Year's resolutions, I'm doing goals. And the thing about goals is that they have to have a specific date. You have to have your goal laid out. You have to have the date that you want to achieve that goal. Once you write it down, you're basically putting that into the atmosphere. You're putting it into the universe. I you a journal. This is my handy dandy planner. This is a new one. has 2020 on it. Got that from Marshalls. But... But anyway, have your planner. You need to be able to write what you have going on each day. That'll help you stay organized. And when you're organized, you function better. Trust and believe. And it has the space for notes. And it has inspirational quotes. Because sometimes I need to be inspired. So just like we said, set these goals. You got to write it down. And I encourage you, what I'm going to do is write it here so that every time I open my, my planner... I'll see my goals. And not only am I going to write it here, I'm going to blow it up and put it in the house. So that way, I see my goals and I'm focused on achieving those goals by the dates that I have set. Write the vision. Make it plain. You got to put it in the universe. You got to speak it into existence. Not only speak it into existence, you got to work hard towards it. A lot of times people be like, oh, okay, this is what I want to do. You ain't putting no action behind it. You're letting the universe know what your intent is. So if you write down your goals, pray over them, and then just watch them manifest because you have your goal and you have your date. So it's a constant reminder that you need to work towards that goal because you have this date coming up. 
So for example, I have six goals that I have. I didn't write the date down, but I mean, some of them are pretty much self-explanatory. So the first one is to travel somewhere different at least once a month. And I have, I've already written down each month and I've already got some events added to my calendar already for the month. But that's my plan because I think a lot of times we get so focused in with bills and school and work and taking a break or getting rest or wanting to just stay home. But life is passing you by and I don't want life to pass me by and I haven't experienced the things that I want to experience. And then also a lot of times, you know, we wait on other people. You wait on a bunch of people to want to go on the trip. You won't ever go on the trip. Just like that meme where it says something like, when we start planning the trip, it's like 15 people want to go. But then by the time it's time to actually go on the trip, it's two people going. So, in 2020, I'm living my life. I'm taking a trip every month. Whether it's by myself, whether it's with my friends, my co-workers, whatever. Every month there's going to be somewhere that I'm traveling to that I haven't been before. Not necessarily that I haven't been before, but I'm going to do different things every month in a different location. Hold me to it, I promise you. The first trip is actually coming up pretty soon. I think I actually have two trips this month, but either way, the goal is to take a trip each month. Um, the second one, maintain a healthier lifestyle. Now, I know we do these different diets, like I was doing keto diet, the keto diet or whatever, but when you, I don't know about anybody else, but when you do something for so long, it just becomes redundant. Like, like I always say I can't eat eggs. Well, now it's coming to the point where like sausage or bacon, I, cheese, I get to the point where I can't stand the taste of any of that. So my main goal is to maintain a healthier lifestyle. So that means portion control, of course. Um, that means not binging on different foods or things that I know that I've binged before. Stay clear away from those. Like, well, the good thing about it is that Christmas is gone, so there's no more Christmas tree cake. But... Anything that I can binge on, I'm, I'm definitely going to stay away from. So, that's more, I'm going to be eating more fruits, more vegetables, um, smoothies, which I love. But, yeah, just making sure that I control my portion and to make sure that I exercise regularly. I do it most, most part. If I'm not walking, I at least go to the gym, whether it's a few minutes or long, dramatic workout. I just want to be more consistent with it. So... Yeah, that's the second one to maintain a healthier lifestyle. Something that's attainable for me to actually do. Um, because fat diets kind of fade away. I want to do something that's for a lifetime. Because I want to be healthy forever. I don't want to just be lose the weight and then good for a few months and then start to gain it back. I want to do something that's more consistent and will keep me healthy. So maintain a healthier lifestyle. The third one is to graduate college, which I will be doing. I am on track for graduation. My last class finishes in July. So because I missed the cutoff, I think you had to be done by June. My last class doesn't finish until July, so I won't be able to do the summer graduation. So I'm going to have to do the graduation in October, which is one of my trips because the graduation is going to be in San Diego. So I'm excited about that. So I have about five more classes to go. I'm super, super, super excited because you just don't know the struggle that I've been through with school. I knew that I really want to explore it. My um, degree is going to be in business marketing. And I love marketing. I love advertising. I love everything that kind of comes along with it. And I want to get into that department with my job or you know, have my own marketing firm because I love helping small businesses expand and reach their, you know, highest potential growth. So that's something for me to look into. But I really, really want to focus on getting the degree first. And you don't necessarily have, have to have a degree to do these things. It's just something that I want to accomplish because when I graduated high school, 
which was in 2004, from the illustrious Lucy Craft Lane Comprehensive High School here in Augusta, Georgia. But when I graduated, I've been to school off and on since 2004. It's 2019. It's time I finish. So that's going to be another one of my goals that I'm going to hit this year. Another goal that I have is to save $5,000. And I want to focus on doing this every year, not just this year, but every year. Because one, you know, I want to make sure that I have a cushion. You never know what happens or what could happen. So I want to have a cushion just in case. Um, emergency fund, like car breakdown or, you know, anything can happen and you don't have go-to or emergency fund money. Um... So it's important for me to, you know, save consistently. So from this point on out, every year, my plan is to save $5,000 a year. And I got a little chart thing I found um, on Facebook, I want to say, and I saved it and I'll post it here. Um, well, you'll probably see it now. So it shows you how much you need to put into your account every week in order to hit that $5,000 mark at the end of the year. I am going to do it. And I'm so excited about just achieving my goals i'm excited about achieving all of my goals because again they're realistic and they're attainable and they have a date set for each one there's a certain time frame that these goals must be met um number five um is to improve my credit um a lot of times you think because you got money that you're good you can have a lot of money but if your credit isn't where it needs to be the income pretty much doesn't matter. And then you'll get like higher rates, a higher interest rates and things like that. You don't get the opportunities that people with credit, good credit have. So I know a lot of times the argument is whether high income or high credit. I think both go hand in hand, but credit as well. Work on your credit. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, and number six, last and final, get rid of them clothes you don't wear. Like, I have one, two, three, three whole closets in my house with my clothes in them. Three closets, then there's a long bin with clothes I don't wear, there's another small bin, and then there's another bin. Not to mention the clothes that are right here on this table that I have to send back to Pretty Little Thing because I haven't sent them back yet. I checked the date that I have to send them back and I'm good, but I'm going to send them back tomorrow. Stop hoarding these clothes. Go through, take you a day. Go through, try clothes on. If they don't fit, get rid of them. If they fit, cool, rotate them in the closet. If they fit and you still don't wear them, take them out. Like, you taking up all this room, you're clouding your space. And for me, having organization is everything because I'm able to function and just do better in an organized environment. Which leads me to the point where I'm going to, you know, go through my clothes within the next few days. And I'm going to be adding some items to my Poshmark. So make sure you follow me on there so you can see what I put up. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Thank you to my loyal subscribers and, you know, everyone who just drops in to say hi, take a peek. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that when I post a video, you will know. So again, make sure you like, make sure you comment. Let me know if there was something in this video that kind of resonated with you. Um, let me know what your goals are for this year or well, for 2020. How are you going to attack those goals? Or just what you got cooking up for 2020. I'm very, very interested to have a conversation about it. So drop down in the comments and let me know what you think. And even if you don't have anybody kids at midnight, be thankful for where you are, what you're doing, and what you're going to do. Because remember, there's a ton of people who wish they were in the shoes that you're in. Good or bad, somebody wishes they were where you are. So even if you're not where you want to be, just be grateful for where you are in the moment. I just want to tell you guys, Happy New Year to you and your family. Thank you so much for all the support that you have shown me over this year. Um, I'm happy. I'm grateful for all the many things that are that have happened, the people that I've met, 
and the things that are going to come in 2020. I'm just excited about this journey. And I thank you guys for joining the journey with me. <laughs> Happy New Year! <laughs> See y'all next year. Bye!